hello and welcome or welcome back to the taste and bloom kitchen my name is yasmi and today we are making this less stressful or stress-free tomato stew or all-purpose stew or jollof stew it's going to be great for your smoky jollof rice so please come with me and let's do this So I'll begin by pouring all my vegetables on my baking tray. So I have some tomatoes, I have some onions, some scotch bonnet pepper and garlic, and I'm also going to add some beetroot. So I would have added my ginger, but I already have ginger paste in the fridge, so I did not have to add any ginger here. So these vegetables will go into my oven until they are charred. So without your oven, you can use an air fryer. You can do this over your coal pot as well just get it roasted okay because it brings out the sweetness in the vegetables so i have here my pan it has some oil in there heating away i'm going to go ahead and start by frying my spices so these are my natural spice blend and then i'm adding some curry powder and then i'll give this a quick mix and leave it for about two to three minutes and then go in with my chopped onions so honestly speaking this is because of presentation purposes if i was doing this without the camera i'll just add everything at once and then just leave the stew to cook but because i want you to follow the process that's why i'm doing this bit by bit okay so in goes my onions ginger and garlic blend i'm going to give this a mix as well and then leave it for about seven minutes so that the moisture reduces a bit okay and by that i'll cover it and then leave it for some time and then come back to it you can tell it's already drying up okay and then next i'm going in with some tomato paste so sometimes if i'm using a lot of tomatoes and beetroot i do not add tomato paste but today as you can tell from the beginning the tomatoes and the beetroot were not too much so i decided to go in with a bit of tomato paste plus also now in ghana tomatoes are out of season so they've become quite expensive so with that in mind, there's no harm in adding some tomato paste, okay? So I gave this a cover and then allowed it to stew for some time and then went back to give it a good mix again. And then I wanted the tomato paste to fry beautifully, so I covered it again and then went back to it about five minutes later. At this point, it was looking good. You can tell it's drying up nicely, okay? Then after I gave it a quick mix, I went ahead to add in my blended tomatoes and beetroot if this is your first time here hello my name is yasmi please consider joining this family by subscribing and also leave the notification bell on yes turn it on so that every time i post a new video you'll be among the first persons that youtube will notify and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos i'm truly grateful if you've watched till this point, I'm also going to assume you like the video. So please give me a thumbs up under the video as well. So this is 10 minutes afterwards. I'm going back to give my stew a stir and then I went in with some chicken stock. If you do not have any stock on hand, do not worry. Just loosen it up with a bit of water. But I'll be using this for jollof. So I decided that no, I'm going to add my chicken stock to make a very beautiful or flavorful jollof if you like. And of course you can use any meat stock or vegetable stock of your choice, okay? So as you can see, my stew came out nicely. It's looking good already. So yes, that's basically it for the jollof stew, the all pepper stew, the tomato stew. Very stress-free. I corrected for salt also because like I said, I'll be using it for jollof and you know jollof stew should be slightly salty, okay? So that's it for today's video. I hope you're inspired to try this stress-free or new way of making your jollof stew or jollof based stew. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section and please share this video when you're done watching. And until we meet again, keep blooming.